Here are the 10 most harmful foods for your brain that you're eating on a regular basis. The very first one is fruit juice. Now you might think, well, isn't fruit juice really good for you because it has fruit? Well, the problem with fruit juice is usually there's added sugar. But on top of that, even the healthy fruit juices that are 100% natural, 100% fruit juice, still, that is a lot of sugar to consume all at once. And the problem with this, it will definitely unstabilize your blood sugar levels throughout the day, which definitely impacts your focus, your energy, as well as your mood, because it's not stabilizing your blood sugar. No one is supposed to be consuming that amount of sugar all at once. And that's why it definitely can impact your brain's health. The second thing on top of this is that it definitely has been shown and proven that there is definitely risk of insulin resistance when consuming fruit juices on a regular basis. And the reason being is because not only is there the added sugar part of it, but when you have high amounts of consumption of sugar, it's definitely going to impact insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is going to definitely impact the glucose metabolism in the brain, which is then going to cause cognitive decline over time and impacting that. The second word First food is definitely chips. Talking about your Doritos, your Fritos, your Cheetos, all those great, wonderful things that we love to snack on. There are several things that are going to impact your brain's health. One, because it definitely has a lot of unhealthy saturated fats and trans fats that impact and actually increase levels of oxidative stress, inflammation that are going to impact your brain and cause cognitive function decline over time. It also has high amounts of salt and also high amounts of sugar, which we've already talked about sugar, but with salt, it's going to increase your blood pressure, which then is going to increase a lot of the different blood blood vessels and damaging those blood vessels, which also can cause cognitive function decline over time. The other thing is chips are known to have MSG, which is a flavor enhancer found in a lot of different things other than chips. But MSG has been linked to excitotoxicity, a process that actually can damage brain cells. The third worst food is cereal, uh, especially when we're talking about a lot of the cereals that are targeted towards kids that have a high amount of sugar. And we've already talked about how sugar be, can be really damaging for our brain. But the things you also got to consider about sugar is they have a lot of different artificial ingredients, such as artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. All these things that definitely have been shown to impact not only people's development of their brain, but also impact people who are very sensitive, people especially with ADHD that can impact their mood, their focus, cognition, hyperactivity, because their body is not able to process a lot of these different artificial ingredients. On top of that, cereal is just empty calories. There is not a lot of nutrient value in most cereals. In fact, they have a lot of processed grains, which they strip the fiber from the grain. And this definitely is going to impact not only your brain health, but your gut health over time and causing gut issues, which then ultimately is going to impact your brain health because there's the gut and brain axis we have to consider. The fourth harmful food for your brain is white bread and refined grains. Now, probably the biggest one on here is because these types of foods have a high glycemic index, which means they are rapidly digest, which causes a spike in your blood sugar, which is something we definitely don't want to deal with because that can definitely impact our insulin resistant issue which is then going to cause cognitive decline over time because it's impacting the glucose metabolism in the brain, which then leads into risk of things like as type 2 diabetes when someone has high consumption in white breads and processed grains. But another reason is refined grains does cause inflammation not only throughout the body, but also in the brain, which is going to impact and cause such as things as brain fog, focus issues, as well as have some impact on your cognition. Number five is energy drinks. Probably the biggest thing concern here is the high amount of caffeine that is in these energy drinks and having overconsumption of caffeine and stimulants is, is not only going to impact your mood, but it definitely can impact your focus over time because excessive amount of caffeine can cause jitteriness, anxiety, restlessness, and even in some cases seizures. Because of that, this will also impact your sleep. And when you are disturbing your sleep, that is going to impact your brain health over time. If you are constantly wired and have a very high amount of stimulants in your system, you're not getting good quality sleep. It means it's going to impact your focus because you're not getting good quality sleep and it's going to impact your brain health over time. It can cause even further issues in your overall health. There's also been plenty of research on this where it has impact people's heart rate, their cardiovascular health, which negatively impacts their brain's health. And some two other big ones is definitely it's higher sugar contents. Don't need to go into that again, but it also has been shown that it causes dehydration. The reason this being is because caffeine is a diuretic, which means it increases urine production, which then is going to lead in into more dehydration when you're consuming something like energy drinks. And when you're dehydrated, the brain needs water. It's definitely going to impact your cognitive functionality as well as your focus 
and memory. Number six is alcohol. Now I could talk a lot about alcohol, how it impacts the brain, but let me talk about some ones that maybe you're not too familiar with. Number one, alcohol is a neurotoxin that can directly damage actually brain cells and therefore interferes with proper functionality of the brain. Now, what I'm usually referring to when I'm thinking about alcohol is usually chronic consumption when you're consuming alcohol usually on a daily basis versus maybe a few drinks on the weekend. That's usually typically fine, but it's when you're drinking alcohol on a regular basis because chronic consumption of alcohol has shown that it does lead to oxidative stress, which then leads to damage of the brain cells, which in research they have seen that with chronic consumption of alcohol, it does cause reduction of brain volume, particularly areas associated with memory and cognition. Now, number seven is fast food. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory, but let me talk about a few things that maybe you didn't consider when it comes to fast food. Obviously, yes, it has unhealthy fats, your trans and saturated fats that all of us should know that it causes oxidative stress, which is going to definitely impact the brain. And then of course, there's the excessive amount of salt that is usually in fast foods, which again, that's going to impact impact your heart health, high blood pressure, impacting your blood vessels that go to the brain and therefore damaging the brain overall. But the biggest concern that I have is when people are reliant on fast foods as their main source of consumption of foods. The problem with this is fast food has significant reduction in nutrients. In fact, a lot of times I don't have really any nutrients at all. It's what I call is just dead food. And when you are not giving your body, especially your brain, any nutrients over time, it's going to suffer and decline and it's not going to work optimally like you want it to. And if that wasn't enough, fast food is definitely a pro-inflammatory, definitely increases inflammation throughout the body, but also especially to the brain, which is going to impact your cognitive output. Now, if you are someone that is trying to have better brain health and have better focus, then you should download my free focus guide in the description below or where I go over all the foods you should be implementing, all the foods to avoid, as well as what testing and implementation to have a better brain health and focus. The eighth harmful food is highly processed meats. Now, I'm going to go over this real quick because it kind of goes along with the fast foods. But not only does this have high sodium intake, but it also increases levels of nitrates and nitrites. These are additives that are added into the meat to help preserve it, but is it really good for you? And the reason they do this is usually to enhance the flavor as well as to preserve it. But when it is cooked and consumed, what happens once digested, these compounds can form nitrosamines, which have been associated with things such as brain tumors, as well as cognitive function decline. A few other things to consider other than, yes, it has a lot of unhealthy fats, but when these processed foods are cooked, they do produce things such as AGEs, H CAs and PAHs. When these meats are cooked at a very high level, like on a grill, these things are formed and you are consuming these, which have been linked to things such as cancer, including brain cancer. The number nine is sodas. So I'm not going to go into everything that I've already talked about on the other ones. Obviously, yes, high sugar. We know that's bad, right? It also is empty calories. You could consume a lot of calories just drinking a soda pop that has no nutrient value whatsoever. Probably the biggest one here is the high fructose corn syrup that is added in a lot of these different sodas, which definitely has been shown to have a negative impact on the brain and causing cognitive function decline and also increasing inflammation to the brain which of course is going to impair the brain's functionality. Now, number 10 is diet sodas. So you might think, oh, okay, I'll just drink diet sodas instead because they have the high sugar or fructose corn syrup. But this is where I would say it's probably even worse than the sodas. And the reason why I say it's probably worse is because what they use is they use a replacement of flavorings. And the replacement they typically will use is aspartame or sucralose. Both of those have actually, believe it or not, have been used for like rat poisoning, ant poisoning, but they still use it in our drinks to enhance the flavors. In fact, enhance the sugar taste 400 times. Recent research is showing that it actually might be impacting our insulin resistance over time. But not only that, it's definitely been associated with a lot of different neurological issues, headaches, migraines, inflammation. I mean, you name it. There is a lot of different things that we don't know about aspartame and sucralose. And it's definitely something that I know I would not want to be consuming in my body because it's something that's more foreign. The other thing that's interesting about aspartame is it does disrupt the neurotransmitter process because it's a combination of constituents of different amino acids, like a aspartic acid and a phenylalanine. Now, phenylalanine is great, but when you mix it in a laboratory and make something like aspartame, what it does, it does cross the blood brain barrier, but in a very negative impact way. And that is something that can be really dangerous. So I would say out of all of these, definitely diet soda is probably one of the ones that I would say is one of the more dangerous foods you could be consuming for your brain. Now that you know all the harmful foods that can be impacting your brain, you should watch this video next of the best foods that you'd be consuming to help your brain's health and impacting it in a very positive way. So watch this video next.